This is a fan's dream of a lifetime. We're headed to downtown Los Angeles. Really and truly, we could say that we're headed to Harold's set. This city was thrown open to this man. He shot so many of his films on location, city streets, local avenues. It was amazing what terrific use he made of the city in which he lived in. We're going to be starting our tour of some of the locations where Harold shot his films in just a moment. We're actually starting here in the Hancock Park area of Hollywood. This is where Harold and Mildred and Gloria lived from the time that Harold and Mildred got married until the day they moved into Green Acres. The thing that's so interesting about being on this street, having seen the whole movies, we see these itty bitty tiny royal palm trees. And now, looking down the street, they're all grown up. With these screen captures in hand, we're going to go scout out some of the locations where Harold shot his films. Come on. This is a real find. In Girl Shy, when Harold was on the horse cart in the midst of the chase to the rescue, we're actually where he was at one point. We're on Broadway between 11th and 12th Streets. The building that we see here, actually in this shot, is this building right here, the Herald Examiner Building. It's a wonderful example of architecture in the 1920s, very, very ornate. Many of the windows that are visible in the scene are now blocked over, but still the building stands in all its glory and it's a really, really important find. We're at another angle of the Girl Shy uh, Chase sequence. Here we're on Broadway between Olympic and 12th. And in the distance, we can see the LA Herald Examiner building. And this is the building right here. This uh, cupola right here is still extant. Actually, in the sequence, you're going to see the Western Costume Building, which was pretty much right behind where I am now. This is a very interesting building. It was used in Feet First. This was actually the building where Harvey Perry, who doubled for Harold Lloyd, and Harold himself had a scaffold, painting, a painter scaffold, and actually scaled the entire building and went all the way up to the top. Broadway, which is where we are, Broadway in downtown Los Angeles, was, I think we could definitely call this one of Harold Lloyd's major sets. So much was shot here. And so many of his films were actually screened here, too. Down the street a little ways, we have the United Artists Theater. Uh, it's now actually used for private purposes, but in its day, it was a major, major venue for uh, the first run screening of so many of his films. We're on 7th Street between Olive and Hill Streets in downtown LA. Now this building behind me never appears from the outside in any Harold Lloyd film. However, it does appear on the inside. This is the building that housed the former Vita Paris department store. In Safety Last, when Harold played a dry goods clerk, inside here was where the location shots were filmed after hours after the department store closed. In both Girl Shy and For Heaven's Sake, this very street was utilized to great advantage. This is Grand Avenue. We're actually right in the, between the 400 and 500 block of Grand Avenue. And in those days, this was not a one-way street. It was a two-way street. Harold, in both films, Girl Shy, when he was in the horse cart, and For Heaven's Sake, when he was in the runaway bus, he was coming up this way. In the middle of the street was the manhole cover where Walter Lundeen actually got into the ground in order to shoot, for Girl Shy, shoot the horse cart coming up and over him. 
This was a sequence that inspired a whole new generation of directors. In particular, it influenced Chariot Race scene in Ben-Hur, which was filmed later that year. We're at the corner of Delongpre and Cahuenga Boulevard in Hollywood. And this is engine company number 27. In hot water, Harold and his family were traveling down the street when a horse-drawn fire truck came barreling out of this building, chasing them down the street. Now, back in 1924, when this was shot, this facade right in front was not there. But this, this building is now currently under renovation and uh, is really a beautiful example of the restoration of classic architecture in Hollywood. In this shot from Safety Last, You'll see on this building the G-E-R-S in the sign. That stands for the ha Hamburgers, and Hamburgers was a very big department store chain at that time. And the interesting thing that you can tell is in this building, in these grooves here, you can see H's all along the, the building. So we know that this is the Hamburger building. We're on the roof of 908 South Broadway. This is a view behind me that we actually saw in Safety Last during the clock sequence. This is this place approximately where sets were built to mimic the actual building. And Harold was on top of these, actually making it look like we are on the west side of the street, but we are actually on the east side. And that's the amazing feat of filmmaking that Walter Lundin as cameraman, and Harold and Hal Roach, Fred Neumeyer, Sam Taylor, they all constructed this amazing sequence that made, made it look like we were actually up here, seven stories in the air. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the locations where Harold shot his films. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think it's a lot of fun for us fans to know where Harold shot his films. But remember, now that you know where the clock sequence was shot, I don't want to see anybody hanging off a 908 South Broadway. Take it easy.